hello everyone in this video we will see some more examples on the send http request in the previous videos we have seen we have created we have created a topic post application http request and this topic is getting triggered auto automatically uh, the by generative ai why because on my copilot uh, here in the generative ai i have enabled this preview feature so that is why the based on my questions and if it is matches the description of this trigger it will automatically trigger this uh, topic and it will execute this step and here what we are doing is we are asking the first name last name and the gender and using the variable values of these we are making the post http call with proper authentication here and we are passing the payload as a json here and this payload will be inserting the new record into my table application. So here, this is the my database where I have sample uh, test environment where I have created the application table and I insert the new row using the first name, last name and the gender which I have passed from my copilot. So this thing we have seen in the previous video. In this video, we will add some more operations like retrieve, update and delete so to do that what i'm going to do on my this table here i have some other api exposed so one is like getting all the rows we can use this api if you want to filter any rows then you can use this filter condition where we have the gate but with the filter condition here you can see and then if you want to update a row we are having the patch method with the some condition value and what we have to set the object what you want to update then the delete you have to delete operation where you need to pass the column and it will delete the particular row so these apis we will be making use into this demo and we'll make these calls so let's proceed so what i'm going to do first i'm going to as soon as this trigger will be executed i'm going to ask a user to select one of the operation so i'll ask user here please select your operation and here i will ask sorry this is same method so it should be asked i'll delete one and here i will ask please select your operation okay and then it will be choice the first choice option will be create the next will be the retrieve the next will be update and the last one it should i'm asked adding as a delete okay and these selected options it will be stored into this variable i will rename it as a select operation method and on this uh, variable it will ha it will have the branches to handle what we have selected and inform this choices so you can see in the create we are having the create uh, retrieve update and this one so this code what we have uh, this uh, configurations what we have done it is for the create or logic right that insert which we have done in the previous video so i need to move this code into here so what i'm going to do i just add some sample code here just something test so here if you see in the code editor if you go here we have the different conditions here right you can see uh, here condition and we are having ask question and this is the question here so we are having the uh, test value it is asking the entity here so on the create we are having the kind questions then question we can ask and then variable where it stored that so like that it is so what i'm going to do i'll take this code and put into my editor here in the notepad plus plus here i'll change this language to yml here under this condition this kind question i want to add my create one so these are the questions right first name last name and this one's last name and the gender and then http request ones so i'm going to copy this entire code from here till this question this one i'll cut it and then i'll put inside this action kind of and then here okay i'll just format this alignment
okay so all alignment is fine okay done so it is fine so if i'll copy this code and put into my editor here okay no error if i'll go to the code uh, preview now you can see under this create i have the first name last name you know, gender and then http call so these changes we have done so i will save the code here so see, uh, since we already have done the demo on the insert, so I will not update this create further, but I will update for the retrieve one. So we'll make this HTTP call retrieve to retrieve all the rows. So here, if you see in this, I want to retrieve whatever the rows we are having. So we want to retrieve all the rows. So what I'm going to do, I'll take this API URL, retrieve all the rows application. I'll copy this and here, in the designer i'm going to retrieve make the http call send http request that same option we'll use and here we can have to append the uh, url so here the url is this one and it is not having any formatting like select and all since it i want to retrieve all the rows whatever we have yeah i'm having in the into this uh, table so i'll select that one I'll just enter this uh, URL. The method will be get and then authentication we need to add. So I will add the API key and then the value of the API key is this one. We have used it in the last video. So this API key I will add. There is no there is no need to pass any body on this get request. So since I want to retrieve, so it will be like that. So response of this get I need to store into the one variable. So I'll just make this variable name as this variable name i'll change uh, get all row response okay so and this response i will log i will send the message to the user so i'll just uh, i will add here get all rows response so like that we have designed it now let's add the update so what i'm going to do uh, here in the case of update, I'm going to uh, update one row. So to use this update one, we are having the patch method, right? And then we are having the with some column condition. So I will copy this application till value here. Okay, I'll copy it. And when you want to update, so we have to ask user which row ID they want to update. So if you see here, they need to specify me the unique key, right? So that I can identify the row and what update they want to do. I will ask them to provide those value. So what go I'm going to ask here? First, asking the question, please enter the ID of the application row okay and then it will be the number type so the identify i'll change this one to number okay and the variable i will install i'll change this name as a um, update app id okay and then with this variable i will ask user to submit the one form so i'm going to ask with adaptive card and this card here i will ask the first name last name uh, or gender to be in field and that value i will update here so i have the adaptive card here which already i have designed it where it has the first name last name and gender created and this is the body code for that so i'll copy this body code from here to here so copy come here and then i will replace this body one okay so done if you change now you can see it is asking first name last name and the submit button the variables are there now with these variables i'm going i have to make the update call right so i will use the same http and here we will have to frame the url so in the url if you see in the case of update we are having some filtering condition right we have to identify the column and then do that so i'll co copy this one copy and change here and then this url i will format it so go to the formula expand it and then here we will concatenate our url concatenate and this will be our uri what we are getting from the application and then it will have the value from topic dot application 
uh, update app ID, which I will ask the like one the unique ID it will every enter right like one two three. This is the unique ID, so they will add they will enter this particular ID and that ID for that ID we'll ask this uh, first name last name and gender to be filled and then once it is submitted then for this row ID we'll update these values. So here we need to change a little. So here some value will be will remove because value is nothing but coming from topic. So it will be updated and the column name is nothing but ID here, right? So the column name is ID. So I'll change that. So the column is ID equals and the value for that. So this is the for formatted URL. So I'll insert it. So it is there. The method will be the patch. So we'll select the patch method and in the header uh, and body, we have to change it. So first of all, we have will add the API key api key and then key value of the api and then i will add the accept since we we are passing the body so we'll add the accept as application slash json and then content type this will be application slash json okay and then uh, this body so we'll add the json body and here we'll change with the formula and we'll expand this and here we will pass the json payload and the, you can see the first name is the column name so if you see the first name is the column name right last name and gender so these columns name will pass as a payload here so column it will be coming from topic dot and we are having text first name and then last name topic dot uh, text last name then gender topic dot text gender okay so uh, this is the code we have so from where it is coming so if you see these payload here right so these these for this payload this value first name last name it is coming when we have designed this uh, code so where we the for the text input of this one we are having the text first name last name and gender so these are the uh, id for this text field so for in that value in that text field the value will be stored and that value we are passing from the topic variable which is stored into this one text last name text gender like that so that value we are passing into this uh, as a topic variable okay and then uh, the response type could be so uh, here that there is no response so we can select anything no problem and there is no uh, response here so I'll just add so however I will just add one variable here like uh, it is uh, update date API response and okay and I'll just uh, uh, send a message to user your request just has been submitted and below i will just i'll just add the variable update api response just in case if they have it is having any response okay so now we have designed the update also now we'll design the design uh, delete part so when it is deleted so if you go to the here delete api it is asking which uh, row you want to delete and there is no payload or, or you know json body it is not there so only just uri and the some condition value then that row will be deleted so what we are going to ask here as soon as delete is selected we'll ask user to send me the row id so please enter the row id you want to delete okay and it will be the number type Okay, and the choice I'll store that delete app ID. Okay, and then here we'll perform the HTTP request and it will be the URL, URI, this one, some value. I'll copy this and then update with the formula because I have dynamic as app ID, right? It will be dynamic value. So expand this here, we'll concatenate. and then it will be have the uh, 
topic topic dot delete app id so the app id is my dynamic value which user will enter so and this one the value i will re I'll replace with the dynamic value and the column which i want to compare is the id so it is updated so we'll insert this url uri and the method will be the delete and then there is no response for the delete and the variable i'll just create uh, here that is delete api response okay and then i will send the message to user that your delete request has been submitted and then below we'll just add any if it has any response so that's all so we have designed our code now so let me show you what we have done in the let me save this first before okay so when this topic will be triggered uh, it will ask the user to select create delete retrieve uh, the update or delete and based on the operation selected so for the create we already have seen in the previous video how to do that and for the case of retrieve we are having the url where it will get me all the record of the application and then i will just uh, that i'll put that message to the user then in the case of update we are asking user to select the application id so that i can identify the row id and then i will ask user to submit one form the first name last name and the gender and using the value what was entered i will update particular row it will update next is delete i will ask and when delete is selected i will ask user to en enter the uh, row id and once the row id is identified i will uh, delete that row and send the message so this is a very simple design and uh, let's test it we'll go to the test we we'll start this one and I want to ask something related to my query I have. So I'll ask, uh, I want to uh, retrieve uh, records of, of application uh, from my system. So let's see if it is triggering. Okay, it executed. Now it is asking, please select your operation. So I'll select retrieve now you can see these are the records already present into my table so in this table i'm having these five records okay so it is there so i'll restart it again and then i'll ask uh, uh, i want to update a row update a record of my application in my system okay so it should go to now it is giving the same option so i'll select this time update now it is asking me the identify the row id you want to update so here i'm going to identify this row number two so i'll enter the number two okay now it is asking me the design of this adaptive card which we have asked so i'll change this name here i'm just going to change this name here as a 13 tendulkar and then gender as a male okay and i will submit it now your request has been submitted now if you see here this has been changed right number row number two it has been changed from sami to sachin tendulkar male okay now let's test the another one delete one so i'm going to ask same thing i want to delete a row of application in my system so it is asking please select your operation so i will select delete and now which row you want to delete so here i want to delete the row number 12 so what i'm going to enter i'll just enter the 12 okay so it got failed because i we didn't uh, set up the authentication here so i'll just go here change this you can see there's no header authentication right that is why it got failed so i'll add here api key and this is my api key okay i'll just i have added it so everything is fine now i'll save this restart i want to delete a row 
of application table application in my system okay i will select the delete now here i now this time i will select the same row number uh, 12 so 12 id your request has been submitted now if you see here the row number 12 has been deleted from this application table so like this I hope you understood how to design the HTTP request with the different uh, uh, create, retrieve, update and delete operations. So I hope this video was useful to you guys and thank you for watching this video.